Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to get better at solving algorithms. Now, uh, in the past I've always talked about how to really think like a programmer. And once you are, once you can rather, you'll have a easier time being a developer. Uh, a lot of people struggle when they're on free code camp, for instance, and solving algorithms. And your basic college coursework, your first couple uh, courses will be over algorithms and solving things. And... I think it's really hard when you're just getting started and what helps me uh, other than just hours of practice and pushing it forward and uh, googling functions and that are built into JavaScript was uh, using whiteboards so let's see we have this tiny whiteboard here and this is an example of how to reverse a string right now I want to let it be known that it's not the size of the whiteboard that matters but how you use it but it doesn't hurt if you happen to have a big whiteboard. Now it doesn't mean you're any less of a man if you got a small whiteboard or a big whiteboard, but it's about how you use it, right? <laughs> so, um, but, all right, enough uh, with the penis jokes. But, uh, so, uh, but let's take this example for here. Um, and I, by the way, I use whiteboards all the time uh, for a lot of things. On here, if I wanna just have something in my lap, you look over to my shoulder here I have another whiteboard on the in the corner there uh, that I usually I write ideas down and kind of, I used to solve algorithms on that on the one I just held up what's on here is some basic architecture uh, and this is you know this is just for me so if I was going to write this out for other people but basically this is architecture for a document in the MongoDB mongoose uh, database so I use these things all the time and the reason I use them is I like to be able to visualize. So that's what it comes down to is being able to visualize these things. So let's take this very basic example. And this was this is from uh, the last time I used this, which was to answer this exact question to a subscriber who asked, how can I get better? Um, get yourself a whiteboard. That big one I got was $9 at, at uh, Walmart. You can get any of these for somewhere between ten, nine to twenty dollars, right? So it's a, it's worth the investment for the you know relative small amount of money. Um, so if we wanted to do the reverse of string, we'd have to kind of think it out. Like, okay, well, what would we do? Well, we'd write a function. So we have step one, write a function uh, slash create, right? Um, step two, we need a parameter. What we need a string, right? We need to know how to reverse it. And what do we want it to look like at the end? What do we want to return? So in this case, it's hello, and we want it to return the reverse of that. So we start making correlations between here and stare at it, right? Look at it and try and think like, how do I do? How do I, you know, what's a function? Okay, well, it's something. It's code that I call. So step one, write a function. Um, and you don't need to have, you know, this is all pseudocode, right? But really write it out and look at it and say, does this make sense? Like, maybe you don't even know how to do it yet, but logically, when you're working through this and you're looking at it, it says, does this make sense? Okay, create a function, pass in a string. Uh, you have a couple steps here. Somehow I reverse it, right? And then I return the, the result. So you're looking for that body part where you may be struggling. Okay, well, let me do some research on how to reverse this, how to reverse things. Can I reverse a string? Is there a function built into that? Can I take each individual letter? And start thinking about all the, all the options and break it down. And, you know, am I going to need an if statement? Okay, I learned how to reverse a string. Now, maybe I want to have... You know, maybe a more complex thing. You're like, okay, well, I want to reverse the string, and then I want to get the first letter out of the string. How do I do that? Is there a way to pull characters from a string? Do a little bit of research. But the idea is, at the end of the day, to visualize it and break it down into parts that are more obtainable, parts that are easier understood. And that's really how you become a good developer is you start thinking these things out. Instead of just keeping them all in here, you actually write them down and formulate your thoughts in the process. And what you'll find happens is when you break it down into, instead of just being this one grand global idea, is you break it down into individual pieces that starts becoming uh, less overwhelming, right? Like the traditional uh, person learning um, code, they, might, they may freeze when they have an empty text editor and they need to build something. But if as a developer, you should be able to say, okay, 
this is where I get started. I'm gonna tackle this little piece right here. That little piece is gonna help me tackle this piece. These two pieces will help me tackle this. And then I have X amount of things done. You need to be able to start breaking it down piece by piece. And the same goes for algorithms where you have to sit down, write out the steps. And even if you don't know how to, even if you don't know how those steps are gonna work yet in terms of code, you should be able to figure it out in terms of just logic, right? I need to reverse I need to reverse a word. That's pretty straightforward. So somewhere I need to input I need to get a word, right? And then with steps I need to transition the letters, you could say something like that, and then I need to return the word. All right, now let's we have kind of a general theme and you start breaking up piece by piece. And that's how I got better with algorithms is I started writing it out in steps that I could understand and then I started seeing how I could accomplish each individual step and start just getting the checks on each one of these, cross them off the list, erase them, whatever, however you like to do it. And eventually it didn't become so intimidating and got a lot easier. And um, I'm not the best at it, um, but it is something that you need to get good with because a lot of job interviews are algorithm tests, unfortunately. I actually think it's an awful idea. Um, that could just be because I'm not the best at it, but who knows, maybe I'm biased. Um, but that's my two cents. Uh, get yourself a whiteboard, start drawing it out, visualizing it, um, hit the steps piece by piece, draw out what you know, and just start investigating after that. And it'll get easier the more you do it and the more you learn. As always, guys, don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. Uh, the link is in the description. And if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash codeintorials360. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.